guys, welcome to today's video. We are in line at VIR. It is Hyperfest time, baby. One of my favorite events ever, and I'm super excited because this year, not only is Colette joining me for the fun, she wasn't able to make it last year. Look who's in the Woo! back. <laughs> he hasn't had coffee, so super fake energy in the back there. Yo, dude, your car is here. Are you excited to drive it? It's been a while since I've driven that car, but what I'm more excited about is for every $5 you spend on LZMFG.com because you want to towards winning the Toyota Chaser. Links down below, baby, let's go. <laughs> I don't even know what he just said, but I appreciate it. Uh, yo, this thing's sick, by the way. I don't know what this is, but it's got one of those transmissions that never shifts, and it just sounds like this the whole time you're driving. Love that. Yeah, ask the rest of the car how we feel about listening to Adam Redline it everywhere we go. And before we got in the car this morning, I come out and he's Ooh. under the hood of the car taking off the air filter so it sounds more annoying. That's Adam for you. All right. You've never had a rental car and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are already here with the rigs. Stoked to be driving the demos cars here. I've only driven the demo cars in the little pits so far at St. Louis Auto Show, so driving on a big track is gonna be sick. Got the skid pad here too, doing some demos. Oh yeah. It's crazy how big Colette's car looks compared to TJ's Z. Cream cheese? Cream That's cheese butter. Meat? Butter. Oh, butter? We don't talk about the C word, dude. Okay, you're not a cream cheese No guy? cream cheese for me. Yo, okay. what are we doing? What are we doing out here? We're going to, we're hyperfesting, dude. We're driving Mustangs. Our first time we're ever going to have all three Mustangs together on the track. I'm super excited. All the uh, Drift HQ boys and girl are out here and uh, we're going to turn some laps with them too. And uh, what This first session we're just going to basically shake down the cars, make sure everything's good. Yep, I got a brand new car, so I got to shake it down. It's a sensitive subject. It was supposed to be mine, and then <laughs> he swooped in, played boss man, and took it. No, uh, not really. I'm but just kidding. It was a. It was just how logistics worked out. It's how logistics worked out. We had to actually wrap my car for you for an event that we had to do for you, and then I had to end up with the new car, not shaken down yet. You know, you got the tried and true, proven car, and I got to now go develop a car right now in front of everybody. Not a very confidence inspiring first session. Uh, so that's Vaughn's car. Last demo I actually drove Chelsea's car. And apparently in the Mustangs there's an electric rack and there's a couple different flashes for it. The flash on Chelsea's car was comfort mode and the flash on that one basically made it so the car doesn't self steer at all because they're having issues with the flashes. So we're gonna see if we can figure out a solution or a way to flash it. But like the car is very difficult to drive as it is and I don't feel very confident in driving it. So the boys got the car feeling better and uh, no more power steering issues. There's actually a plug that was getting unplugged. So I went out and I had a blast on the skid pad. You guys are gonna see some footage. I wound up driving a little bit with Chelsea, Colette, TJ, Luke, uh, and it was just a blast. Just hot lapping the crap out of these cars. They're a good time and they just take a beating, so.
back out, do another demo with the boys, stack three Mustangs on the skip pad and go have some fun. Driving's over for the day. I had a blast. It took a little bit to get the car sorted out, but just honestly driving on the skip pad, having the demo car, getting to drive with all the bros, with the RTR bros, the Drift HQ bros, LZ bros, the girlfriend, uh, it's super cool. But the fun's just getting started. Tonight, we're gonna take the side-by-side -side out, and then Vaughn's gonna take the Bronco out, and we're gonna go have some fun off-roading. What's crazy is, I think it was three years ago, I hyperfest last time. Vaughn gave me a ride in one of his off-road rigs. And now we're out here in the new Bronco. He's gonna show me the run. Ooh, that's a jump. Show me the course, brother. I'm gonna show you the course. All right. Is that a jump? Yeah, it's a jump. Are we, we hitting hit it? it? All right, we're gonna hit it. Oh boy. I don't have anything to hold on it's to. It's not gonna be a huge. It's not oh, gonna be a huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Colette's on the phone. Right, so there's right? a nice little fender here. Yo. You buckled up, Colette? Yeah. It's sick. Yo, this thing rips. Oh yeah. And it doesn't make any noise. Is this EV? What's that? Yeah, it's EcoBoost. 27 EcoBoost. I'm in now. We're gonna roll drive with the lockers on. Oh my god! You guys good? Yeah. Okay. This is pretty sick. We're doing so much air. <laughs> it responds well to the left foot braking. Yeah, yeah. It's. It, Will I get it, to drive this tomorrow? You can drive it. If you roll it, it's yours. They don't roll real easy though. You can see how painted it is. Yeah. And it just rotates so nice. <laughs> it feels like they're gonna roll it up. <laughs> Yo, this horse is sick. Oh yeah, it's so fun. What do you got, like a box of tools in the back? <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a recovery kit that's just flopping around. Wow. All right, I'm gonna...
This thing has never felt this good. It's got to be the tires. Vern's about to go take it for a rip. Let's do it. The scenery here is wild. Just hearing Vern ripping it. He's a real fun haver, he is. I need you to repeat what you just said. Holy sh! It's the fastest UTV I've ever driven. Really? You always hot ride your sh I love it. <laughs> Bro, so I saw you feeling out the jump. Is it maybe a rebound thing that we gotta tweak? Yeah, the um It's the rear, right? Yeah, but I don't I feel like the, it doesn't have enough preload in general, so it's really low. So it's bucking. So we could slow the rebound down a bit. And then that would help. That would that could definitely help, yeah. I read uh, that it comes set up kind of naturally to do that. What's that? From the factory, the like way that the rebound set up, it kind of naturally nose dives. Yeah, they might um I mean yeah, I don't know the answer to that. You enjoyed her though? Oh my gosh. Dude. It's so it's like ignorant. It's like almost too fast for this. Oh it is. Yeah. 100 percent Yeah. Cause like you just come out of the corner, it's just like it's it's rad, dude. All right guys, so it is day two of Hyperfest. I lost my camera or left it in the rental, so I haven't filmed at all today. You're just starting day two? This is actually the, TJ's camera. The day's over. Of, it's five o'clock, it, bud. <laughs> it's over. Hyperfest is done. I never closed out what happened last night, and I wish I had a camera in this car. James, you are insane. Dude, that was the most fun thing ever. I had a blast. Stock, uh, stock runner, TRD Pro can do the thing. I'm gonna put some like random shots that we have from Colette's phone on the screen. He's but James shot. took his daily forerunner, never been off-roading in someone else's, never gone off-roading himself, and did what I would consider to be like a higher level of difficulty off-road. Well, not a black diamond, but like, what? what is it, a blue square? Is that the next thing when you're snowboarding or skiing, I would say? There were some dudes with like properly set up like yeah. rigs that were, I don't want to say struggling, but it was a challenge for them. Hey, I had a confidence booster though. I had a Bronco Sport driven by Chelsea Denofa in front of me and I was like, if he can do it, then this thing can definitely do it, so. Except for Chelsea being Chelsea and he can just do magic things Anything, sometimes. Anything, yeah. Another exciting thing that happened at Hyperfest was we officially announced Drift HQ's Formula Drift Pro Spec Driver. Two time champion and longtime friend of mine, Dimitri Brutsky. He was there driving, we got some laps together, and he was debuting the new livery on his E46. Make sure you cheer him on this season. His Instagram is right here. Check out how sick his car looks. So anyway, that happened. Then in the morning, it was raining a little bit. Uh, I was able to hop out and get some laps in with Colette, some really good laps. TJ, is that when we got laps in too? Yes. Oh, in the rain? Yeah. I forgot that was even today. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, that was today. Welcome to day four of yeah. Hyperfest. When, yeah. I, when I was chasing you, I was just watching James with the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> it was like the most fun thing to watch when I was driving. That was footage will be here now.
After that session, probably five minutes after I had left and gone down to the RTR pits, uh, Colette had a pretty gnarly fire in her car. She's okay, the car is definitely rough. Um, I believe she'll have a video up rather soon. I think she actually went back to start editing it today because she knows like everyone's posting about it on social media. She's okay, but definitely a little discouraged having that car all done. And having the next round of clutch kickers coming up around the corner, so definitely if you guys can send her some love, I know it'll mean a lot. I've got some Patriot course footage here. I had a couple good laps and then started to get some good tandem, but still just having like little mechanical issues with the car, so I decided to just play it safe and just focus on driving to the skid pad. The session you guys are about to see is probably one of the most fun sessions I've ever had with three cars in my life. Uh, me, Chelsea, and Vaughn. I don't want to say all three of us got carried away because I was getting a little carried away. Everyone was getting a little carried away, but we had a good time and you're about to see why. Last session of the day. I just, I let it all out. I was pushing Vaughn around track everywhere. He started flipping me off mid corner. And it just made me want to do it more. Hey, who needs 350Zs Real that fun? Real bully. Hey, we got Mustangs now. Real bully over here. Hey, look, back in the day, I used to do the same thing in a 350Z. Normally I don't send my driver's bills, but I think you might be getting one this weekend. <laughs> hey, stop uh, brake checking me on entry there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew where you were going that last session. I hit every mark exactly where I wanted to be. I was but running doing the wide line. The only then, time I got wobble was when my, you, I had too much lock and my steering started to wobble. It's the only time yeah, I got wobble. This was never during a high angle. You might have me for that. I just but want you guys to know, I had the time of my life. <laughs> And we're just a bunch of girls just arguing. But it's so much fun and I love it. All you guys can hear is the background stuff. That's mad. Yo! 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 What? What you got there? 
big burnout tonight. You're gonna do a burnout? You know, someone once told me, if it's a female, if it's a, uh, I'm not gonna say it on camera. No, you say it on camera, I'll bleep it out. I know okay. how to do that. Well, Chelsea Denofa once told me, was it Chelsea who said it? Sure. If there's a female driving, no one's surviving, baby. It's unrelated to the burnout box. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say that. I just, it rhymes and it sounds cool. We're doing the burnout box tonight, baby. Stocksy, lighten them up. That whole sentence so we just went and got some food. Uh, we're going back to Hyperfest, and this is my favorite part of Hyperfest. Kind of happened as an accident. My very first Hyperfest, I remember we had my S13 loaded up, and me and Pat were up. We were watching the burnout contest, and we were looking at each other like, yeah, you could probably do a better burnout than that. So he was like, well, if you want to do it, I'll unload your car for you. He did, and like, not a huge burnout guy. Like, I respect an Australian burnout. I could appreciate it. I always have fun. But the vibe that Hyperfest creates by having, like, it in the center of this oval track that's really small where, like, the crowd is all, like, everybody can see. The pit is way too small, and it's just freaking cool. I had so much fun with my E36 last time. I caught on fire, and I had to stop. But I couldn't see anyway, so I guess that was, that was okay. This time, I secretly brought Z-Roy. I didn't want to, like, hype it up. I just wanted to like kind of show up and just have zero and do a burnout. I'm not like a huge fan of how the car has been running. It's on some old uprev software and I want to either convert it to AccuTech or like put a standalone on it now that some of them have like dual throttle body capabilities. But nonetheless, we're gonna go do a burnout, okay? Yo, this thing rips. No, it doesn't. No. Hey, I forgot to press record. Leave it. Yeah, you did. Yo, coolest vibe ever. You look over, you see a plume of smoke and just like thousands of people standing around the oval. You nervous, bro? I, I don't know why, I'm a little nervous. I was out there driving. Yeah. Oh, yo, I will say when you go up there, you see like 3,000 flashlights around you. It's the most dense you'll ever feel like the tension's on you in your life. So I have I have three <laughs> outcomes for how this Only is gonna go. 3,000 people have ever watched anything you've done. The first, <laughs> the first outcome, I'm either gonna go until the car sets on fire. The second it won't, outcome, it won't. Be your first. I, I wanted to start high. Okay. Second outcome, I'm gonna go until I hit this metal, metal wheel on the ground. Third outcome, I'm gonna go until, I guess I crash. I don't know. I'm gonna try to not stand still. I'm gonna try to move all around. But I'm nervous. Yes. We gotta head over there soon. I'm ready to go, baby. Where's it? Colette's doing her eyeliner. It's important for the burnout. Yeah. Colette. Yeah. She's doing her eyeliner? Yep. Yeah, you okay. Have to. You're right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just I'm nervous. I didn't even know you were here, guy. Listen, man, you're a busy guy with a busy schedule, you know? I'm never too busy for you, Ruddy. All right, well, tomorrow we'll kill it if I don't blow up. We're going until 280 oil temp. We're, this, today's our last day. We're gone. Oh, you suck. I would have let you drive the Mustang. No, you wouldn't. hundred percent I would have. Wow, I'm really upset. Come to Grid Life. I'll let you drive I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, that's fine. Are you, you going to drive, the, are you you going drive to the Mustang? No, he doesn't let me drive that. Wow, I must be special. Yeah, you are special, buddy. Hey. Are you looking at Good Life? <laughs> I guess I am now if I'm driving that. I'll be, I'm I might have a slight heart attack, but... Huh. You'll be all right. Vaughn, yeah. dude, Vaughn doesn't oh. care. Vaughn has unlimited Hey, budget. if you don't care, I don't care. <laughs> Chelsea wrote this in the building. Johnny is parked backwards. Do we have? Do we have more cars? Do we have more cars? I'm trying to see what that is. Who's got a beer? Beer? I need a beer. Oh, you guys are fun. You guys are fun. Hey, look at this monstrosity. This looks like something my eight-year-old put together, but I'm with it. I'm here for you.
should have tipped it in in third and then I would have had that issue, but I tried to upshift to third. It was way looser than I expected it to be. Um, I think I just dropped the diff out of it. This thing has a gnarly clutch since it was geared for like drag racing and stuff. And uh, unfortunately, I just, uh, I just dumped it too much. We took the slipper valve out of it and that was probably sleeping the drivetrain the whole time. Just like that, Hyperfest is over. Deej, would you come back? Yeah, yeah, I'll come back. It was great, I had a great time. You wanna tell them how much of an old man I am when it comes to partying? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I could have taken so many photos and we didn't. So just know that's how much I care about you. Such a proud opportunity. Adam passed out in the car all night. No, 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 hold on, let me, cause it passed out sounds like I passed out from drinking. No. I literally was just tired. No, it wasn't drinking, <laughs> he was just exhausted and he fell asleep like a little baby in the front seat. But what did I tell you? I was like, yo, uh, it'll get to a point where like I'll be having fun and then I'll just get tired. You said we were gonna rage and we like kinda did and then Adam fell asleep. We'll rain check that for a time when I can get a little more sleep the night before. All right, we're going off to the airport. I gotta get there like an hour and a half early because this dude checks luggage. Who even checks luggage anymore? I gotta tell you the secrets. You love to spin the story up.